This Bachelor College is designed to educate engineers of the future, future-proof engineers. And what does this mean? Eh? A future-proof engineer is an engineer who has solid uh, disciplinary knowledge and at the same time has learned to collaborate in multidisciplinary settings with the students from different disciplines and has developed uh, a broader uh, view on the impact of technology on society, for example. If you look at technology, it's just a means to, to help figure out real big issues like the food problem, like health, like mobility, the climate. All of those answers will be found in technology. And what we aim at is at, at uh, educating students that can de develop their own profile. And to, to realize this, we have organized our curriculum with uh, a very solid uh, core program for the students, eh? for example, eh? applied mathematics. Uh, at the same time, uh, we have, have introduced some innovative concepts in this curriculum. Uh, Challenge-based learning as a curriculum concept means that we design our programs to um, help students develop all the knowledge and the skills they need to collaborate in uh, multidisciplinary teams to solve complex societal problems. It just really feels nice that you do something for a real client instead of just a lecture. Of course, to get there, eh, to be able to do that, uh, you need to, to build up your knowledge and skills. So it doesn't mean that we have projects everywhere. Eh? It means that we have designed the curriculum to help them develop knowledge and skills to be able to tackle a complex problem together with other students, teachers, external stakeholders. I think the main advantage to the student is act activating their intrinsic motivation. Usually when I have a course I just go to a lecture and I do my exercises and that's it. But now you actually have to come up with things yourself. You really have to search yourself what you're going to do and with a team combine all your strengths and efforts and in that way um, produce an end project, which was a very new thing for me. I have not echt the feeling that I something missed heb tijdens my study, uh, behalve dan that I was the generation before there were a lot of CBL projects in the curriculum. Kwam. And I ben actually stiekem een beetje jaloers op the huidige generatie. Uh, die heel erg de kans gaat krijgen om veel van die projecten te doen. If you put the application or, or the question uh, from the beginning, then you know from the, the, from the beginning why you are learning this theory. The knowledge that you acquire is much more tangible. So usually you have a course and you learn something and in the end you're like, what did I actually learn? But now you actually made something, so it's very, you can really be proud of what you did. Our goal is that every student Feels, feels at home uh, in TUE education. That's our goal. And one of the instruments is, is, is challenge-based learning education. Uh, the elective space is another instrument. Our attention for personal and professional development is another instrument to help students feel at home. And of course, the, the use of digital tools eh, that is really helping us flex, have more flexibility in the way we offer our, our education. Uh, we believe you never stop learning. So it's really important, and that's also curiosity, to, to keep on learning for the rest of your life. Later on in your career, that's all those soft skills and the way you work in a team are probably the most important things. Uh, leerlingen die een carrière in de techniek ambiëren, zou ik graag nog willen vertellen dat uh, ze er vooral voor moeten gaan. Uh, er is eigenlijk voor ieder wel wat wils. Of wiskunde nou je favoriete vak is, natuurkunde, biologie uh, of misschien zelfs geschiedenis, zoals dat bij mij was. Ik vind zelf dat concrete gewoon ontzettend leuk. Je weet wat je maakt, je weet wat je doet, dus je weet ook waarvoor je het doet. Uh, voor docenten op het VWO uh, zou ik uh, als tip nog mee willen geven om uh, uh, leerlingen vooral te stimuleren, om, uh, om dingen te proberen, dingen te doen. Uh, maak ze niet te bang van wiskunde en leg ook uit waarom ze die wiskunde krijgen. En ik denk dat het dan een stuk meer gaat leven dan misschien bij, uh, bij de leerlingen die je nu niet zoveel aanvinden. En dat is denk ik wat de techniek ook zo mooi maakt. Dat je weet waarvoor je het doet, uh, waarom je die natuurkunde som aan het maken bent. 
is dat je straks een robot kunt bouwen die uh, iets heel gaafs kan doen. Of uh, die wiskunde som is nodig, zodat je een stukje programmacode kan schrijven. Uh, misschien zelfs wel je eigen game. Uh, en ik denk dat dat soort voorbeelden, dat soort projecten, maakt het voor leerlingen gewoon uh, fantastisch leuk om met technische zaken bezig te zijn.